Hey, it's Diane Hockman, Figuratively Naked, episode seven. I'll be out of finger soon. <laughs> hey, Happy New Year and all that good stuff. If you're watching this at the New Year, it's uh, Monday, January 2nd. A um, couple things to talk about. One, I, I made fresh juice this morning. I did uh, carrot, celery, cucumber. I mean, that's calorie, cel uh, carrot, celery, a piece of apple, kale. Really good. I think I can get into this. I think I can drink this in the morning and get myself off the, get myself off the joy juice. Shout out to, uh, shout out to all the honey badgering people out there. This is uh, Herbal Life Herbal Concentrate. I've been drinking it for 17 years. It's my morning thing, and I, I'd like to get off of it. Of course, I'm drinking it now after I drank the other. But the idea is to change my habit. So when I get up, instead of going straight to this, mm, um, I'm going straight to the juice. So. We'll see. I like it. It tastes good. It's a pain in the neck to clean the juicer, though. If anybody has any juicing tips, let me know. Um, so today, what I want to talk about today, and, and I'm going to get straight in your face today, because <laughs> um, you, you need to hear this. Um, and it, it makes me a little kooky. And because it's New Year's resolution time and all that stuff, everybody's doing it even more because everybody's talking about their goals for the year. And the thing I hear most from people, especially when they come to me for consulting or, you know, today I put up a thing about, you know, pick one thing and master it. And everybody's like, I want to, the title of this video is the myth of focus. Okay. Everybody's like, I want to get focused and I want to be consistent. I want to be focused and I want to get consistent. And they seem to think there's like a focus fairy <laughs> that comes and sprinkles pixie dust on you at night and that other people are focused and I'm not. Okay. Other people are this. And I'm not, I don't have it. So then we, we do a perpetual cycle of beating ourselves up because we, we say we're going to do something and then we don't do it. And then we say we're not focused and we go through this whole, like, you know, beat the crap out of yourself cycle. Um, how do I know? I've done it. Okay. So the myth of focus, you know, there is no, I mean, there's a couple of perfect people out there. There's a couple of them. I admit it. I've met them. They're, they're freaks, okay? They're, they're, they're those perfect people. They're perfect people that have everything planned and everything organized and all that stuff, and God bless them. I'm not one of them. So let me tell you what's gonna give you focus. And, and this is why they say in MLM all the time, you gotta find your why. Guys, you ever watch a kid when they want something, all of a sudden they can magically do everything in a minute? They can magically get their room clean and magically get their homework done because there's ice cream or there's the park or there's whatever there is going on, a toy. They can magically get focused and get things done in minutes that they couldn't get done in weeks before. And the simple reason why is because they're excited. They're a kid, right? They're excited. Well, you're no different. You're just a big kid, okay? And the simple way to get yourself to do something is put a carrot out there that you want bad enough or find something that jacks you up enough or something that makes you passionate enough. If you don't feel that and you don't find oh, my dishwasher's going, sorry, I forgot I turned it on. Um, so if you hear the noise, it's my dishwasher. Um, if you don't feel that and you don't find something that gives you the feeling, then sitting and telling yourself you're going to get focused and consistent is basically like beating the crap out of yourself and setting yourself up for failure and misery. Okay. And then it becomes a vicious cycle, vicious cycle, vicious cycle, vicious cycle. I'm going to be this. I can't be that. I suck. I'm going to be this. I can't be that. I suck. That's why people jump from program to program because they're looking for new beginnings because they're looking for something. Um, and, and what you have to do is find the thing in your life that's going to get you excited. Now, why am I really aware of this? Because I am the biggest lazy ass, lazy ass, let me say it clearly, lazy ass, I think I said it in my last video, I said it in a letter this week, that you're ever going to meet. Now, I don't mean that because, uh, guys, I do really well and I can, I can perform with the best of them. But generally speaking, there has to be something that turns me on that gets me to move. For example, I just, um, it's not official yet, but I'll say in the video because by the time the video gets out to you guys, it'll, it'll probably be coming out official. I just hit a $100,000 bonus uh, in one lump, a $100,000 bonus, right? Um, and if you want to know about that, ask me about it. But um, $100,000, now that thing turned me on, right? I was like, $100,000 bonus and it's this easy to get. I'm getting that sucker. I'm getting that sucker by the end of the year, which I did. I'm getting that done. It was, it was a carrot. It was an external carrot. Um, I play games with myself. I plan trips and things. Like 
when you do this, you can plan. I love cruises, okay? People make fun of me because my daughter makes fun of me because it's an old lady activity. You know what? I love the sea. I love being at sea. I could care less about the ports and the tchotchkes and the excursions. I love being on the ocean. Maybe someday I'll buy a yacht or something. I don't know. And have somebody sail me on it. I love the ocean. So last year, I was, I was fortunate. Enough, I went on five cruises last year because I used them as... Um, as toy, you know, I use them as things that I want to get. You got to do this and then you can book this. You want to do this and then you can do this. I'm not really into stuff. If I were into stuff, maybe I'd use a handbag or shoes or something like that. Um, I'd find something to jack me up. And your companies, you know, they have promotions. The reason why they run promotions is to give you external motivation, okay? There's a trip promotion, a car promotion. This summer, I, I got a, a car lease. That was another one. I just wanted to prove it could be done. Um, it's just fun. But generally speaking, I'm just kind of like me. I'm like daily DMO, zero level marketing. If you don't know about that, ask me. Um, just basically even keel. And then I find something that makes me want to run and jack me up. So bottom line, be really careful with your words and what you type and what you write and what you say to yourselves about what you're doing and what you're focusing on. Because the more you say that, that stuff, focus and consistency and stuff, the more you're telling yourself something that, quite frankly, if you ask a lot of people, unless they're still busy telling you they're perfect, most of the top earners are just not. They're just not the super people that you think they are. They're the people who have learned to manipulate their mind to get themselves to perform. Let me say that again. They're the people that have learned to manipulate their mind to get themselves to perform. The average person unwittingly manipulates their mind to make themselves not perform. They've been trained since they were a little kid to, to, to have somebody tell them what to do. And when nobody tells them what to do and when there's not some kind of exciting thing, they can't move. The, the, the overachiever, the top performer, has learned to manipulate their own mind to get their best performance out of themselves. So, and then some people are really strong, you know, across the board in all different areas of their lives. Some people are strong in some areas and weak in other areas. I'm one of those. I'm really strong in certain areas and weak in other areas. I choose to focus on my strengths. I find I get more bang for the buck out of focusing on my strengths and what I'm really good at as opposed to trying to shore up my, my deficits. So that's it. Listen to how you're talking to yourself because I'm just watching it all over today. And quite frankly, it's kind of nauseating. <laughs> figuratively naked I'm allowed to say what I want if you don't like it don't watch it's nauseating because it's the same people saying the same thing over and over and over change your pattern change what you say to yourself and change your behavior all right that's it I'll see you guys later have a good one bye